we're going to take a quick detour from the character movement to look at how we can tell what is the closer enemy to Pac-Man. Uh, obviously the closer enemy has the greater possibility of catching up with Pac-Man. So we want to know who's closer to Pac-Man. And uh, as before, we can do that by finding the the vector, the lengths of the vectors. So I've added a new enemy here. This guy's name, according to Wikipedia, is Clyde. So I'm gonna give him a C, okay? And that'll denote him. And I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna name this vector. I'm gonna name it a little bit differently this time. I'm gonna name it the vector from I to P, just like that. So that means IP the vector from I to P. And then I'm gonna go back to my orange and I'm gonna draw another vector here from C to P and I'm gonna name this one CP. And we get these vectors as before by subtracting the points uh, P minus C and P minus I. And then we can compare the lengths of these two vectors to figure out who is closer to Pac-Man. So the length of CP or the magnitude of CP, we're going to compare that to the length or magnitude of IP. So we're going to figure out who is bigger. Who is bigger? This symbol just means we don't know. It could be CP that's bigger, it could be IP that's bigger. We have no idea. So now let's break this down and transform it uh, to our vector length formula that we learned on the last slide. And that was the x component of CP squared plus the y component of CP squared. And then we're going to square root that whole thing. And this is greater than, less than, equal to, we don't know. Uh, where'd my green go? And now we're going to break IP, the length IP down into the formula that we have. So IP, the X component squared, plus the Y component of the vector IP squared. And then we're going to square root that whole thing. Okay, so now we can see, now we can do this calculation by just plugging the values in. But if you'll see, we have a square root on both sides of this equation. And square root is actually kind of complicated, uh, not complicated, but expensive operation. Not anymore these days now that computers are so fast. But we can certainly make this faster by uh, seeing if we can get rid of these square roots. And in fact, we can. All we have to do is square both sides of this equation. And then these squares and square roots will cancel out. And that will leave us with the x component of the vector cp squared plus the y component of the vector cp squared which is either bigger than smaller than we don't know but we're about to figure it out and then the x component of the vector ip squared and the y component of the vector ip squared so now we've gotten rid of the square roots entirely which is good because those can be expensive to calculate especially if you were doing many many of these comparisons all at the same time so let me rewrite these in the original form in this uh, vector magnitude form because I squared each side I can rewrite them as CP squared is we're comparing to vector IP magnitude squared. So what we've learned is that it's actually faster computationally to compare the squares of the magnitudes of these two vectors instead of just the vectors themselves. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the code portion of this video. All right, you can see I've added a new length square function and that is going to be basically the same as our length function so I'm just going to copy it and paste it except we don't need the square root because it's the length squared so we're going to 
square it by just getting rid of that square root. So we've saved ourselves a square root, which is pretty simple. Uh, so let's come down here to the function. I've added Clyde in here. He has position of 2, negative 1. And let's uh, give this a whirl. What we're doing is, uh, just like before, we are finding the vector CP, that is the vector from Clyde to Pac-Man, and the vector IP, the vector from Inky to Pac-Man. And then we're going to find the square of the length of both of those vectors. And then we're going to compare, we're going to print both of them out so that we can compare and see which one is smaller. And here's the result. It looks like the length squared of the vector from Clyde to Pac-Man is 4. And the length squared from, of the vector from Inky to Pac-Man is 5. So that means Clyde is closer to Pac-Man and we didn't have to do a single square root to find either of these answers. Awesome. So uh, that concludes this video. Next video we're going to talk about how to make your characters go faster or slower.